think it's for the betterment. We spent a lot of time, thought, and money on how to kill each other. There's no law, but then the decree, complex system. there is only one thing that has a fault without the defect. So I think the indeed threw me off. And some women are very, they're just used different ways. Really? And that, you know, like ruthless people, they can be psychologically <laughs> ruthless. Yeah. They're supposed to be, oh, women in the military in Israel are um, supposed to be absolutely scary. Really? So, Well, if you're Islamic and you're killed by a woman, you can't go to heaven. Oh, oh. oh so there's afraid of them. Yeah, I heard they, they have like Whoa. just like trucks full of like women with guns shooting people and everyone's running like nobody's seen before. Oh. My dad my dad was in Israel and he said it was a little off putting to see like these like really young, like eighteen year old girls with like giant guns. But they look like around. games gamers, you know, with yeah. yeah. You know what, the little mini skirt? What? No, oh, these are a full burqa. They do not no, wear no, mini skirts. They don't wear burqas because they they're, not, they're not Muslim. Oh, I'm talking about the more Eastern side. I, I was it. making a pun based on, you know, the, the video game. Yeah. Video <laughs> game. <laughs> That's true. They do do that. They're always balanced. Uh, my lieutenant was a female <laughs> when I was in Afghanistan. And you, Really, when you're in full combat get up, you, you can't tell. You can't tell. But we meet with these um, other key Afghan leaders and stuff, and it's tradition. You, you take off the stuff when you get inside, and they were always like, wait, she, she's a female? Yeah, talk to the boss. You know, don't, you're not talking to me. <laughs> so sometimes they were, depends on how modernized they were. They, were, they liked seeing that, or they didn't. Well, I just wanted to go talk to my boss. Later, so. Well, so we're in. Um, what we're supposed to be doing. We didn't really cover James very well last class, so I thought I'd pick up with James before moving on to Hustle. Uh, in fact, I'm, the more I, I I zipped through four different books at the library yesterday on Hustle just to remind myself about stuff, and. When you get right down to it, it's you know there there are some really interesting things about Hustle, but um, so James talking about James. Um, go back to my notes. So what I started talking about was the family. The family was rich. Um, uh, the, I, I mean, rich enough uh, uh, that um, I don't even know that the father worked, actually. Um, but what he did do was he wanted his kids to have the best education, so he loaded up the family and he moved to Beverly Hills. That, no, no, I'm just kidding. That's an old TV show. Uh, uh, yeah, remember that one? Beverly Hill, Hillbillies. Yeah. Beverly. Beverly Hillbillies. Hill, Hillbillies. Um, uh, no, but he took them to Europe, and they kept moving from school to school, trying to find like the best school for the kids. But they would spend like you know, one have them enrolled in one school for like three months. Ah, I don't like that one. He moved to another school. You know, so it was like France, the worst Germany. You know, various places. They would go on tours so that. They would go and see the museums and things of that sort. Um, uh, William James wanted to become a painter. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. Did you measure how fast it went? No, I don't have any equipment. Yeah, you would need equipment to, to measure. You could have like a little paper out, you know, about so far. Yeah, see how fast it went. See, yeah. yeah. I feel like I should know because it's part of a Veggie Tale song. How best to sneeze goes. <laughs> I do not remember that. The sneeze doctor. Oh. So, in any case, uh, 
Um, and James actually went back on his own. He studied psychology in Germany with, I think, uh, Professor Wundt was his one teacher. Um, so they were much more European educated than the typical American, of course. Um, I mentioned the church that the father belonged to, the Swedenborgians, because I think that's pretty neat. I got plus I got to visit it, so I I showed you a couple of videos I made of, of the, the church and everything. Um, but he does go to Harvard, where he uh, uh, studies with Louis Agassiz, who is this guy. Also very interesting. Louis Agassiz was from Switzerland originally. Um, he got his education uh, in uh, Erlangen, Nuremberg. Uh, where else? There was some other places too, it seems to me. But look at his fields, paleontology, study of glaciers. I won't try to say glaciology because I don't think I can say it. <laughs> Geology, natural history. Uh, um, taught at Neuchâtel, Harvard, Cornell, which I was at Cornell just the other night, actually, in Ithaca, uh, kind of hopping around. Remember my goggles. Oh. <laughs> so what do you say? You know, okay, so I VR'd. I VR'd to Cornell just the other night because the minister was from there uh, that had given a presentation on Carl Sagan who taught at Cornell. And so and she, she talked about sitting by the museum which has this big star-like display up on the roof that you can lie down on the field at night and watch. And it's just kind of amazing. And, you know, I raised my hand and I pointed out that back in the 60s, they had a movie called you know, 2001 A Space Odyssey that had kind of a light trip you know, that everyone got to experience if you watched the movie. And apparently, it was even better if you were on something called LSD, <laughs> which not that I was ever on LSD. In fact, I usually refer to it as LDS because that's funny to make that mistake. You know, that, oh, yeah, yeah. You know, that's that's yeah. <laughs> from a Star, Star Trek movie. Or oh, Captain LDS Kirk. is from a Star Trek movie? No, no. LDS is the latter day. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought you were talking about. No, Kirk, Kirk gets on the bus. This is the, the way home with the, the whales. Star Trek IV. Um, and he gets on the bus with Spock, and Spock says something funny, and the marine biologist that's with them on the bus looks puzzled because of what Spock just said, and Kirk looks at her and he says, he did too much LDS in college. Mm -hmm. So it's just, so that's a Star Trek videos joke. of, I think the British experimenting on their soldiers, the effects LSD that they have on them. Fascinating, actually. But so I VR'd to Cornell the other day. So, um, okay. But so he's odd because he was uh, very popular, uh, had lots of um, uh, fans of his teaching at Harvard. Uh, he did popular lectures too, and people would come. You have to imagine back then there was no radio, no TV, so people would go to venues to hear music, plays, operas, uh, symphonies, and lectures. Lectures were very popular. Uh, William James was such a lecturer himself, but um, Agassiz was also. But Agassiz was, as a scientist, Prior to the Darwinian revolution, if you want to call it that, Darwinian evolution, the, um, uh, I made a lot of uh, uh, fun, 
had a lot of fun out of my posting on Facebook the other day. I, I posted, creationism has evolved. <laughs> <laughs> and lots of people decided to say, how, et cetera, and you know, it was just fun. <laughs> But he was anti-evolution. In fact, he took James, William James, as a student, down to the Amazon to look for signs of glacial activity in the Amazon. Because he was absolutely convinced if there were, if there was an ice age, that God had made the ice age all over the world and not just in various places. And he kind of concluded that he that he thought that yes, there were signs of glacier glaciers in the Amazon, mm -hmm. um, and James was like, "I don't think so." <laughs> uh, what type of signs did he find? I mean, you know, the kinds of things you look for are like, um, like the rocks sitting around, or like um, moraines. Where, like, what vegetation has grown back since? So like what kind of vegetation there is in certain places? Well, I mean, if it's been oh, thousands right. of years away, what you would mostly find oh, no. is, is like the way our hill, th this was formed right. by a glacier, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and you can tell because of its kind of being roundish as the ice would kind of uh, have smoothed it all out and so on. And, and it would have picked up odd boulders and mm -hmm. stuff of pretty huge size. Mm -hmm. and left them in various places, um, as in fact I have in my yard. I have one rock that's you know, one of my fav favorite rocks. It's bigger than, you know, it's actually been moved thanks to the municipality. Uh, they, in fact, they offered to completely remove it entirely. And I said, oh, the kids love it, leave it. You know, so they still have it. And they still climb on it, especially during the winter and stuff as long as they don't break a leg or anything. Um, but so, Agassiz, pretty, pretty interesting, pretty important. Um, know lots about him. There's uh, stuff at Harvard that is like a, a hall uh, with a, a um, So he was interesting, and that was one of the teachers uh, that James had at Harvard. But, Har but at Harvard, James's main subject was psychology, and um, not really even just psychology, but uh, medicine, like physiology. Um, psychology really was not yet a subject on its own. In fact, James is the person who creates psychology as like its own subject. Um, and part of that is because they had discovered electricity. And James wired people up to electricity and zapped them and discovered that their personality changed afterwards. <laughs> he, he electrified them. Uh, you know, so it was kind of, a, there's, I don't, did you ever see the, the follow-up movie to The Wizard of Oz? Yeah. Back to Oz or Return something? Return to Oz, yeah. Return to Oz. That was Oz, a weird movie. Where it really starts off with the guy hands. in the white coat and the machine is like, rrr, rrr, no. turning off. I don't think it starts that way.